Happy Thursday. We won two out of three. The Red Sox took two out of three. You thought you were going to sweep Bill, us. Bill, Bill, no idea. Bill, Please. The, word, the word for today, yeah. the word, the big word for today yeah. is no. Oh, that's and and y'all did not win two out of three, Bill. And I know that's hard. Yeah. I know that's hard, but. We might have. Just, just, we might just, have. just know, Bill, that um, when, when the playoffs come around. Yeah. I will welcome you onto the Astros bandwagon to cheer for us as the American League representative to the World Series yet again. Don't talk about the players. Year. You're going to be wearing my jersey at the All-Star break. You're going to be wearing this jersey with Mookie Betts on. Hey, how you doing, guys? It's Thursday. We're talking about summer, the lazy, hazy days of summer, and how we can really kind of conquer them uh, in our recovery and move through them. Today we told you and promised you that we would share a huge word when it comes to recovery. And that word is no. No. Let me put it to you this way, Troy. Jesus walked with the publicans and the prostitutes and the sinners. He went to the dark places. I feel ashamed that I've got to keep myself away from that stuff. Why can't I be the kind of Christian who can find victory there? Well, here's the thing, Bill. Jesus at times was asked to do a variety of things. Sometimes those things were sinful, like turn this bread or turn these rocks into bread. Sometimes those things weren't necessarily sinful. They just weren't a part of God's plan for that moment or they just weren't profitable for what God was up to at that time. But Jesus was not afraid to say no, whether it was to an opportunity to sin or whether it was just, hey, here's an idea, let's do this, and it's not that bad. You know, hey, Jesus, let's just stay up here on the mountaintop and to heck with everyone else. Let's just make our homes up here and let's just live up here where it's all spiritual and cool. Jesus said no, because Jesus knows that sometimes the most spiritual thing you can do is say no to a given opportunity, whether that opportunity is good or bad. That's rich stuff. So we've got guys facing big parties where they know this is going to be there or that's going to be there or they are going to be there and when is it right to say no and when is it right to say yes and go shine the light of jesus to them well i think i think you also you always ought to be prayerful about where you put yourself and what sort of situations you put yourself in and uh, there's nothing wrong with saying no to an opportunity because you realize it's not wise for me to be in that opportunity but let's just say you, you, you do put yourself or find yourself in an opportunity. Um, you know, I'll go to a football game and everyone else there will be drinking beer. Or I'll go to uh, the river and kayak with friends and afterwards everyone's having a beer. I don't mind those situations. Just simply saying no. I'm good. I don't, I don't want that. No disrespect to anyone else, but that's not for me. And what happens is so often because we're so afraid of rejection and we so want people to like us that we say yes to things that we know we ought not say yes to. And, 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 and while they not, might not be bottom line things for us, they're not wise things for us or they open the door to push us towards bottom line things. And so it's okay to say no even to innocent or um, maybe not so innocent, but, 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 but it's okay to say no to opportunities, bottom line. Okay. I guess, I guess I'm a little, I have this little personal issue with it in that is the motivation to stay away from things being fear, I'm afraid. Is that okay? Or is, if, if that's the case, I need to pray more because fear shouldn't have a place in this. Or is the only time to say no when I know it's like spiritually bringing a message to those I'm saying no to? I think it's okay to say no at any point in time. It is okay always to remove yourself from an environment or a situation or to say no to a certain opportunity just because you want to be cautious and careful. And whether that's emanating from fear, that's okay. You know what? Sometimes it's good to be afraid. Sometimes there is real danger in front of you. And you ought not just in the name of faith or in the name of trusting God or in the name of whatever, move forward blindly. But what a great testimony to be able to hear God's voice and to say no, not from a place of fear, but from a place of wisdom. Yeah. To know God has said, it's okay for me to be here, but it's not okay for me to partake in that. Or, you know what? Everyone else is going to do in that. 
but I'm not going to do that because I know that's not the wisest, best place for me today. Mm -hmm. So whether you're saying no out of fear or whether you're saying no out of wisdom, the thing I'd want you to recognize is it's okay to say no. And sometimes saying no is the most spiritual thing you can do, whatever the motivation is. Man, you've helped me a lot. I hope it helps you too. Guys, we know you're all at different levels, at different places. And we're trusting that the Holy Spirit is taking from what we're saying and giving you what you need to navigate your summer. We'll talk to you tomorrow about maybe the most important part of all of this. See you God tomorrow. Bless you.